Hey, what is up guys? Me Graffiti here and I'm back with a new video. In this one I'm going to show you how to add custom perk shaders. So basically what this is, is, is it's allowing us to take the original perk shaders like Quick Revive and Juggernaut and put them on a new script so that if we ever have any custom perks in the future that you have made or get released by somebody um, you will actually be able to have it align with all of the other perks and it will act like an actual perk shader and not be how the old ones were where they're slightly above the perk shaders that we have if you've ever seen anything like this so basically the, in one short sentence this is all putting the perks in one neat line for the custom any custom perks that you want to add so in my next video I'll be showing you how to add his PhD flopper I would show you how to add it in this video but it would take way too long so let's just get right into it so with anything that war dogs release you are going to need his add-ons so I'm going to show you how to add that uh, into your script right now it's very easy so you're going to download his content right here and after you've downloaded it you're going to get something like this called the core scripts and it's going to be a share so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your mod tools launcher and you're going to right click on the name of the map that you're adding this to and you're going to click open map folder then you're going to go click on black ops 3 then you're going to open up the core scripts after you have downloaded it and it'll be the share file again you're just gonna drag and drop this into your roots folder so after you have dragged and dropped it into your roots folder you're all done with that you're going to now need to add some code into your map and your zone file so what we're going to do is we're going to find the map that we are adding this into so ZM test we're going to go to zone source and we're going to open up the zone we're then going to minimize it then we're going to go to scripts ZM and then we're going to open up the GSC and the CSC so I'm going to open these up but then I'm going to keep them minimized so now we're going to go to the zone file and we're going to go to the very bottom you won't have all this unless you have added weapons or anything like that but just go to the bottom of your zone file and you're going to look for fig3 and you're going to copy all this information right here and you're going to want to paste it in so I'm going to delete this little line right here and if you do forward slash forward slash that will comment it out and you can do something you can name it so I'm going to name this core files and then click control s to save it or go to file and save so once you have saved that you're done with the zone you can close that out but I'm gonna keep it open because we're gonna need it for later next we're going to want to take this hashtag using scripts and then we're going to open our GSC and we're going to paste it right here under the using user maps so I'm gonna paste it right here like this and then we're gonna go into the ZM test CSC and we're gonna paste it right under the user maps again in the CSC next we're going to go to this line and we're going to copy this war dog initiation pre and we're going to want to paste that right here under function main above the ZM user map main so paste it like that and then we're gonna go right here and we're going to then paste it right here again in the CSC so we're doing the same thing we did in the GSC to the CSC right above the ZM user maps main in function main next we're going to copy this code right here just the initiation and we're going to paste this right here under the user map main so like so and then let's tab that so it's aligned 
and then right here under include weapons we are going to add war, da war dog post and we are going to paste that in like so quick tab come to the GSE we'll paste it right here under custom add weapons like that and we will save it now we are completely done once we have saved the GSC and CSC so now we are done with his add-ons we can move to actually adding the perk cut so again this perk cut is allowing any custom perks that you add to be aligned with the original perks and act like a real perk shader so you're going to want to first download this content right here and after you download that it's going to give you these files which is the perk machines GSE files and then if you scroll all the way down right here to the third download content link you're going to want to download this and after downloading this it will give you a file in your downloads called wardog perk hud gse file so once you have downloaded the wardogs gse file perk hud gse file right here you're going to want to open up your mod tools launcher you're going to click open map folder you're going to go to the roots file the roots the black ops 3 roots then you're going to go to share raw scripts look for war dog perk and then you're going you're going to drag the war dog perk hud gsc file into the into the war dog perk under the share so i'm not going to replace it because i already have it in there so now that you have that in there you're going to want to go to your roots file again you're going to locate user maps your map name scripts zm and then you're going to find your your map name gsc and csc file now inside of this file you are going to want to open up war dogs perk setup and these are the GSC files that I was showing you earlier for all the default perks that are already in the game so you're going to drag and drop that into your script ZM folder just like so and the what these are is he has actually added all of this code right here for you guys so you do not have to do it to all the default but now if you are adding a custom perk you are going to need to add this and do all of this to your your perk script so I will actually be showing you guys how to add this code into your custom perk scripts but I'm not going to show you that in this video I will show you that in my next video when I show you how to add his custom PhD flopper script but for now we're going to finish adding the rest of this into our zone file so we can move on to adding the custom shaders so first we're going to copy the script partially scripts war dog perk war dog perk hud dot gsc so we're going to copy that go to our zone file and again the best way to get to your zone file is to open up the mod tools launcher right click edit zone file like so so we're going to want to paste that somewhere so I will paste that right here like so in my zone file now right here under core files and I will be pasting this script parse tree scripts ZM additional primary weapon and all of the GSC's and if you don't have electric cherry take that out and if you also don't have widow's wine which you should then take that out as well but if you do have widow's wine and electric cherry keep those in so you're gonna paste that right there into your ZM test zone or whatever your map named zone file is and then you're going to call this like perk GSC's 
whatever you want to call it and just file and save and there you guys go now I'm just going to show you how to get your shaders so now that we have actually added all of this into our map what's going to happen is basically it's going to take away all your perk shaders so we're going to need to download this perk shader pack from AGC's Black Ops 2 shader pack we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and we're going to click download content once you have downloaded this it will be right here you're going to get two folders a source and a texture assets so he did not finish he did not do these correctly we need the materials not just the images so we're going to have to make materials for these so after you have dragged the texture assets and the source data into your black ops 3 roots folder you're then going to need to open up ape so we're going to look for ape right here so we're going to open up our mon tools click asset editor once it's opened up we're going to want to look for his shaders that he has provided and they are image files so we are going to want to convert these images into 2d blend materials and then we're going to need to put these materials into our folder so he has them named as AGC Black Ops 2 shaders so what we're going to do is we're going to look for a shader that we want to add so we're going to do the quick revive so here's quick revive and then once we have quick revive we're going to click on the image that he has provided us we're going to click new material actually let's take this name right here we're going to copy it we're going to go new material we're going to paste that into the assets name we're going to give the material category as 2d and the material type as 2d blend and then we're going to click ok I already have one made so next you're going to, once it uh, pops up like this it's going to say error so you're going to change the surface type to metal and the gloss range as custom and then you can come down to the bottom right here where the color map is and you will just paste in that name that you gave it and it will be right here under special specialty giant quick revive zombies then you're going to want to do this for every single one of the images that are provided in this pack once you have made all of these images into materials we then can open up our zone file click twice do forward slash and call these shaders and we're gonna paste the material to a comma and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up his shader pack zip file we're gonna go to install text we're going to copy all of this information right here and you do not have to add this information in right here for the for the chugga bud the tombstone the vulture if you do not have these or for the electric cherry you should add the dive to nuke because in my next video I'll be showing you how to get PhD flopper so now that you have copied all of that you're going to want to open up your zone file again and you're going to want to paste it in like so then you're going to take this material and you're going to want to copy it and you're just going to paste it over all of this image all the images and make them all into a material and now I'm going to delete these because they are unneeded and I'm going to save my zone file and now we are completely done I believe so if we come back here everything is done for that now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to change the GSH files to actually read what they have provided 
So if you notice, these say specialty giant. So you're going to need to copy the specialty giant. And you're going to want to go to your Black Ops 3 roots. Go to share, raw, scripts, ZM. And you're going to go all the way down until you see ZM perk. So you're going to want to open up all the ZM perks GSH files. So right here, here's one for Deadshot. We are going to skip uh, ZM perk additional primary weapon because that is mule kick. You actually need to put the shader name inside of the GSC. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But first we're going to open up Deadshot GSH, double tap GSH double tap do juggernaut quick revive sleight of hand stamina up widow's wine and then now open all those up so once you have opened all of those up you're going to want to look for define the perk name underscore shader and you are going to notice that it's going to say specialty ADS zombies so you're going to want to rename whatever is inside of these parentheses with whatever is inside of your zone file so for me I have specialty giant ADS zombies so I could just add giant or you could just paste it in like that and now you're going to save and you're going to do this for all of the GSH files that I told you to open now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your mod tools launcher you're going to want to right click on the map that you have been adding all this stuff to click open map folder go to scripts zm and you're going to look for additional primary weapon gsc and electric cherry gsc now if you do not have electric cherry you can skip this process and you can just do it for the additional primary weapon now if you do have electric cherry I would recommend that you watch so we're going to open up both of these files I already have them opened so once you have the first one open this is additional primary weapon so this is mule kick we're gonna go into our zone file we're gonna look for specialty giant three gun zombies and we are going to copy all of that we're going to open up that GSC we're going to locate pre-cache material and we're going to rename what's ever inside of this parentheses with specialty giant three gun zombies and then we're going to save that next we're going to go into the electric cherry GSC if you have electric cherry if you do not again you can skip this we're going to want to come up here and we're going to look for specialty blue electric cherry zombies. I'm going to copy that. You're going to look for define electric cherry shader, which is a little bit different because the GSH is actually inside of the GSC for electric cherry for some weird reason. But other than that, it should say quick revive. So you're going to want to paste that in right there like so where it says quick revive under electric cherry shader save that and you guys are all done again save your zone file go into your map and I have compiled and linked this already and I have gotten no errors now I'm going to show you that this works and I'm going to show you the new shaders that you guys will have so guys now that you have compiled and linked your map and you have gotten inside if you were to turn on the power and to hit the perk machines you will notice that you have new black ops 2 shaders and not only do you now have new shaders but you also have a script that will allow any custom perks that you add into the future to line up with the actual perk shaders and act like an actual perk so if you guys enjoyed this video and if this helped please leave a like and a sub if you have any questions please comment down below other than that peace peace guys and keep on mapping